the same way we did on Friday evening, Saturday morning, Friday, Saturday afternoon, and in the morning, we do the same way until it gets here. Come on, let's join our hands and let's have the Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Father, thank you. Thank you for the fellowship. Thank you for the presence of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the uncovering of the new covenant. We are seeing as you see. We are exploiting revelation knowledge. To you be the praise, to you be the glory. We worship you, Father. We adore you. And we are ever thankful to you. Amen. Buena esa sifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you all for finding the time to come so that we may look into the word of God's grace. Amen. Uh, the things that pertain to us as a result of the finished work of Christ. We've learned so much. We are in the penultimate session where we are looking at Amen. Where we are looking at um, at uh, our theme text, uh, uh, which is Philemon one six. Is that mercy I'm seeing? Hello, Doty. Wow. Hey. Wow. Nice to see you, dear. Amen. Karibu. Wow. Amen. Um, thank you all for finding the time. Our theme text is Word Experience. Uh, Word Experience 2024 is Philemon 1.6. Philemon 1.6. Because this is the penultimate session. I think we'll be closing with the Q&A session. I want to see if we have understanding so far, such as the things that we have looked at. Okay? When the Bible is saying that the communication of your faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you, in Christ Jesus, we have seen communication there means sharing. Your faith there means salvation. Effective Effectual there means effective. So the sharing of your faith, which is salvation, is effective on condition, by a means of the acknowledging. Acknowledging pale is to have exact knowledge, precise knowledge, complete knowledge, perfect knowledge. This acknowledging, precise knowledge, Complete knowledge, perfect knowledge, is the knowledge that is unique to God. Are we good? It is the knowledge that is unique to God. God knows precisely. 
God knows perfectly. God knows totally. Now you are told that when you participate in this knowledge that is actually divine knowledge, then of if, if, you, if you have the exact knowledge of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus, that is how you will be empowered to share, to communicate your faith or your salvation. Where sharing, we saw effectiveness in your sharing, we saw means that you are bold in your sharing. You are clear in your sharing. You don't talk in both sides of your lips. No. You are clear in your sharing. You are bold in your sharing. Okay? In your communication. And we saw that springs from the exact knowledge. Are we together? Now, I want you people to notice something. Okay? Mm, if we can go to perhaps, um, let us look first at Matthew. Matthew chapter number 16. There are things we also have seen so far that God is the one who desired that you have communion. We've been highlighting... Okay, it's okay. Yeah, sure. Let's just be in that Matthew. Matthew uh, chapter number 16. Mm. If, if, if we can do verse number 24 and... Uh, 25. Matthew 16, 24 and 25. Then say Jesus unto his disciples, if any man come after me, let him do what? Let him do what? Uh-huh. And take up his and take up his what? He's telling you how you deny yourself. Eh? It is by taking up your what? Your cross. And doing what? Following him. Uh -huh. For whosoever shall, shall do what? Shall do what? Shall lose it. And whoever will? For who? This is the, way, the only way you gain your life. Eh? When you lose it, for whose sake? For his sake. Yeah. You can lose your life and never get it. But if you lose your life for his sake, there is a return to it. Are you getting the point? So whoever shall lose his life for my sake, he says he shall find it. Can you back up to the previous verse again? If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Let him deny himself. Now, this denial of self is by taking up your cross. Now, your cross that you should take up is no other cross but the cross of who? Jesus. Okay? You deny yourself by taking up the cross of Jesus. Now, I'm seeing something here. Here, we are being told to deny ourselves. In Philemon, we are being told to accept every good thing that is where? In us. Are you seeing that? Now, there is something that happens between here and there. Here in Matthew, Jesus is saying, deny yourself. Why deny yourself? Which self is it that you are to deny? It's the old nature. Are we good? The Adamic nature. Now, the person who denied themselves, meaning they've denied the Adamic nature, and it is by taking up their cross. There is only one cross where all men were crucified. Do you know it? It is the cross of who? Jesus. So when Jesus is saying, take up your cross, he simply means believe in. Are we together? To take up your cross is to believe in Jesus Christ. What is it, you are, what is it that you are supposed to believe about Jesus Christ? His death. Where did he die? On the cross. Are you getting the point? So you deny you are Adamic self by believing in Jesus Christ. You have to believe in Jesus Christ, his work, his death, burial, and resurrection. Now, this is something that a believer doesn't do on any given Sunday. This is something that the believer did. Are you getting it? Deny yourself. No. 
You are not supposed to deny yourself if you believed in Christ. You denied yourself, that's why you believed in Christ. I don't know whether I'm communicating. Am I communicating? The minute you denied yourself, you received the life of Christ. From then on, what you should be doing is embracing that life. Are we good? Remember, Paul is saying this in Romans chapter number 7. Romans chapter number 7. Go there. In Romans chapter number 7. You want to do verse number 18. Romans 7, 18. Can we read that together? For what? That where? Where? Uh-huh. In me that is in my flesh. In me that is in my flesh. Flesh there is not body. Flesh there is what? Nature. This is the nature that was supposed to be done what? Denied. Are you getting it? That in me, that is in my dwelleth. Oh, there is no good thing in the nature of the flesh. Right? For to will is present in me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. Now, what Paul is saying in Romans chapter number 7 is the struggles that of a religious man that is not born again. Can I repeat? What Paul is pretty much talking about in Romans chapter number 7 is the struggle of a religious man that is not born again. Typically, what Paul is talking about is the things is listed in Philippians chapter number 3. Right? The things that he was to deny that were in his old nature. Can we go to Philippians chapter number 3? Philippians chapter number 3. Can pick it from verse number 3 perhaps. Philippians chapter number 3. Chapter number 3. Thank you. Uh, it's okay. We can start from there. He's saying, finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me indeed is not grievous, but for you it is safe. Next verse. Beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers. Beware of the concision. Next verse. For we are the circumcision which worship God in the spirit, rejoice in Christ Jesus, and have no confidence in what? In the flesh, right? Flesh there is what? Nature. Which nature? The Adamic nature. The sin nature. Are we together? Uh-huh. Next verse. Though I may have also confidence in the flesh, if any man thinks that he has somewhere to eat, where he has, Whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more. Next verse. Now he's listing things that pertain to the flesh. Which in Romans 7, he says that I discovered that in me there is nothing good. Alright? Now he's saying, flesh is to be circumcised on the... That is flesh. Of the stock of flesh. Of the tribe of flesh. An Hebrew of Hebrews, flesh. As touching the law, a what? As touching the law, a what? Flesh. Concerning zeal that he demonstrated in persecuting the church. That is what? Flesh. As touching the righteousness which is where? In the law. Even though he was declared blameless, that is still what? Flesh. In other words, Paul is saying that in my morality, in my moral conduct in society, there is no one who could accuse me for any wrong. In other, I am Napata. So Paul, according to his CV, Angepewa certificate of good conduct. Right? Even though Naiza Kupea na Wanadamu, a certificate of good conduct, Paul didn't have a good conduct. According to who? God. 
So he says, next verse. But what things were what? Gain means profit, isn't it? The things that were profitable to me, I counted what? For who? Uh, there, you have to count them lost for who? Because if it is not for Christ, keep them. Stay with them. Didn't Jesus say that? You deny yourself, you lose your life for whose sake? For my sake. That is the only way you can get what? Profit. But what things were gained to me? Those I counted lost. Those things that he had listed. For Christ. For Christ. He denied his flesh. For what? For Christ. Gone. Doubtless, he says. I counted what? For the what? So all those things that he counted loss when he compared to the excellent knowledge of Christ, right? Yeah? They, they were not comparing in glory. Sindio. So he says, doubtless, I counted all things but loss for the excellency of knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I've done what? The loss of what? Is it reflecting with Matthew? You deny your what? That is it. By the time he's denying this thing, right? Before he's denying this thing, is he a believer? No. But at the point that he's denying this thing, he's agreeing with what? What Christ told or what Christ did, right? Now he's saying that for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them by but what? I count them but what? I count them but what? Unaweza, unajua unaweza kuhesabu kitu asara, lakini bado unaiweka. Lakini Paul is telling you the extent to which I account kwa asara. He counted them as what? He's counted as, as what? The people who translated this thing in English were being polite in language. Go look up for yourself what that means. Huh? So which means, he denied the things that were a CV in his life. Okay? Why? For the excellency of the knowledge of Christ. I count them but done that I may win Christ. Go on. And be found where? Uh-huh. When you deny yourself, which means you agree with the cross of Jesus Christ, where you were hung. Don't you say that Christ died for you? Isn't that our confession as believers? That Christ died for who? For who? Hello? Christ died for who? For you. Why did Christ die for you? Because you are found to be what? Sinner. Sinner by deed or principally sinner by nature. Sinner by nature. So the deeds came because of the nature, right? So you are sinner by nature. Who messed you up? Did you mess yourself up or were you messed up? You were messed up. Who messed you up? Adam messed you up. So you are a mess because of Adam, right? So you can defend yourself. I am what I am because of Adam, right? So because God wanted to separate you for, uh, from Adam's mess, right? He sent Jesus to remove you from that mess. So that from henceforth, when you believe in what Jesus has done, now you are not counted with the mess of Adam. Are we together? Now he's saying that I want to be found where? So after Paul has denied himself, what exactly has he denied? His old, which means his old Adamic nature. Now he's saying, I denied those by believing, taking up my cross, the cross that Jesus carried for me. Believing in the cross that Jesus carried for me. I denied myself. And when I denied myself, Matthew, Jesus is saying this, that you lose your life for my sake, you will gain it, right? Now Paul is saying there that now I am found where? So when you are looking for Paul, where are you finding him? Do you find Paul in Adam? In Adam, is there anything good in Paul? But in, in Christ, can we find something good in Paul? Yes, because where is he? In Christ. I may be found in him. And in him, not having what? My own righteousness. What did he classify your own righteousness to be? Flesh. Are we together? Wema wa mwanadamu katika nguvu zake na jitihada zake ni kimwili. It is flesh that I be found in him, not having my own righteousness which comes, which is of the law. 
The righteousness which is of the law is the righteousness of flesh. Are we together? The righteousness which is of the law is the righteousness of flesh. He's saying, but that which is through what? Faith. In who? Through the faith of what? Christ. Of who? Christ, right? The righteousness which is of God by faith. Are we getting it? Jesus, Matthew 6, you have to deny yourself. Right? He's talking to people who are not born again. In other words, he's talking to what? Humanity. That you have to deny yourself by taking up your cross. By the way, your cross is the cross I am carrying for you. So he's telling you, you taking up your cross, which in fact I'm carrying for you to Calvary, on which I will be pinned, you know, I'll be nailed on Calvary. If you take up that cross, it simply means you believe in what I've done for you. Are we together? That is how you deny yourself. That upon denying yourself, there is something you gain. What do you gain? A new nature. What do you gain? The life of Christ. What do you gain? You gain the righteousness which is by faith. Now, from that point on, from that point on, Philemon put it up. Philemon 1.6. Our theme text. Now, this is the game changer. Remember Romans 7, 18 that we read? Paul said that in me there is nothing good. But right now, the communication has changed. He's saying that the communication of your faith may be effectual by the acknowledging of what? Every what? Every what? Which is where? Because you are where? Oh, there are good things in you because you are where? Are you seeing the change? So right now, you don't tell the believers, deny yourself. Deny yourself. Deny yourself. If you have exact knowledge, anyone telling you, deny yourself, your response should be that I did it the day I received Christ. Are we together? From then on, what should you be doing? Embracing your new self. Are we together? Embracing your new self. Please put up Galatians chapter number 2, verse number 20. Galatians chapter number 2, verse number 20. That's why Paul could speak this way. Okay. Can we read this together? One, two, three, go. Hold there. I am what? With who? What is to be crucified? Another word for being crucified is being killed, right? Or dying. I have died with Christ. Okay? Nevertheless, hold. I thought you said you had died. Now you are saying you live. He knew you would ask that. That's why he's qualifying his eye. Is I live, is what? Yet not I. Which I is it not, is he not referring to? The first I. Okay, this is going to be wordy. The reason why we study scripture is that we get the communication. I ya kwanza, sindio ya kwanza. The first I we are seeing is the first one, eh? The second I we are seeing is the second one, eh? Nevertheless, I. The first I is I am. The second I is nevertheless I. The third I, yet not I. Are we together? So that first I that is crucified with Christ is the yet not I. Are we together? The first I, I am crucified with Christ, is the yet not I. But so that when he's saying, I am crucified with Christ, he says, nevertheless I live, but he's telling you, yet not I, which I? The I that was crucified with Christ. He says, but who? Who? So what is your I? Hello, what is your I? Well, the day you discover this, you'll never suffer low self-esteem. A motivator teaches you self-esteem. It's a big box. You are self-esteem that you feel motivated. You feel motivated. I'm telling you, there is someone who's stronger than your motivation at the current. There is someone or something that is stronger than your current motivation. And that's why the right doctrine should build your I esteem to be in Christ's esteem. Your esteem should be who? Christ. Kanisa munanisikia. Your esteem should be what? Should be what? Mm -hmm. If your esteem is based on motivation and based on yourself, based on the things that you can achieve, let me tell you that someone at Akwanyesha does that what you have, you still don't have yet. Suit yako is the best until the next man comes in with a better suit. One as if you 
Your job is good until the next person comes with a better job. You cannot base your worth on your esteem. Your I is Christ. Your self-esteem is Christ. Be persuaded about that and see how you are riding the world. That's what I'm telling you. No matter the place, no matter the setting, utakuwa too sour because you have Christ esteem. You are a person who's been told to look at life from eternity and not from time. When I say if you are not seeing 2024 in the light of eternity, 2024 will harass you black and blue. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. What do you mean, Paul? Not I. Which I are you not living, Paul? The one that was crucified is not the one that is existing. Uh -huh. But Christ lives in me. So he's saying his I is what? Is Christ. And the life that I live when? Now. I, my Christ esteem, I live, the life that I live now, I, the life that, the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the what? The faith. Of who? Who did what? And gave himself? He gave himself for me. When I say, if you were, go back to Philemon. Go back to Philemon. My eye is Christ. My eye. My identity is Christ. Is Christ. Now, that's why Paul said, the communication of your faith, the sharing of your salvation, is effectual when you have the exact knowledge of every good thing that is where? Every good thing that is where? Because you are where? Aha. Uh -huh. If I am supposed to find you, where should I locate you, believer? If I am supposed to find you, where should I locate you? In who? Aha. Uh -huh. And when I succeed in locating you in Christ, the only thing that I will find there are what? Are what? The only thing that I will find there are what? Ah, Jesus says, either make a tree good and its fruit will be. And if the tree is bad, its fruit will be. So how do we know whether, a tree, whether, whether, uh, how do we know whether fruit is good? We know fruit from the tree. We don't know the tree from the fruit. That's a difference. Because have you ever heard that there are people who ate fruits that were wild, but it killed them? Have you ever heard that? People were eating wild fruits and they looked attractive. They looked like. But it was wild cassava. And because though it was cassava, it looked like cassava, at the end of the day, its fruit would only produce what? Death. Because it is poisonous, however good it looks. So Jesus is saying, the tree has to be made good for its fruit to be done what? To be good. Now, to one kama tunailewana. Mulokole, niki kutafuta ni kupate wapi? Hello, niki kutafuta ni kupate wapi? Tafadhali. Niki kutafuta ni kupate wapi? Lakini kama wewe umezoea kwamba wewe unatafuta kungineko. Yani tukitafuta laana hapo upo. Nitakana tukikutafuta tunakupata wapi? Nani ya nani? Nini hiko ndani ya yesu? Good things. Is, is, are curses good? Sasa muta na kunya na kuambia hata kama umeokoka. Najua umeokoka na nena kuandimi. Kuna vitu bina kufuata. Laana zinazo kufuata. Nitakana unamjibu na... Because he has to locate you where? In Christ. The minute you are located in Christ, what does he find in you? Good things. Ebu work at Colossians 1.13. Do Colossians 1.13. Colossians 1.13 says this. The who there is, uh, okay, do 12 so that we know who the who is. Giving thanks to who? Giving thanks to who? So you realize the who is the Father. Eh? Giving thanks to the Father which has made us what? To be what? One of the word about partaking is communion, isn't it? He has made us to have communion in the what? Of who? Because the saints are where? Uh-huh. Who has made you to be that? Who is your qualifier? Who is your qualifier? Who is your beautifier? Who is your redeemer? 
who has made it all good here is the father bwana yesu asifiwe so giving thanks to the father which has made us to be meet qualified us to meet is that god has qualified you imagine imagine tafakari nilianzia hapa mwanzo katika mkongamano huu nikisema kwamba strategy ya shetani ni mbili wachanganyishe hawa watu ambao wameokoka wasielewe au ni akina nani hawatatumia vilivyo vyao let them not be persuaded about who they are and they will not use what they have because there are things that you have because of who you are are we together there are things that you have because of who you are then satan makes sure he says confuse them about how they became who they are then they will still not exploit what they have yani shetani ataki utumie vilivyo vya kwako He doesn't want you to use the things that pertain to you because you are in Christ. That is his strategy. Satan siku liokoka alishtukia tu meokoka there is nothing he could do about it. So akasema kwamba okay what we will do right now is let them not know the truth. Because when they know the truth the truth does what to them? Aha. Uh-huh. What is it that Satan fears about you? Freedom. Satan does not fear ya kwamba utaingia oh, how do i put it satan does not fear that you will come into eternity he already knows you ushaponyoka umeenda there is nothing he can do to bring you out of christ una hiyo habari there is nothing he can do in high waters or in high heavens or high waters to bring you out of christ there is nothing he can do to remove you but if he can keep you ignorant about your benefits for being in Christ he is good because what satan hates to see you expressing every day in your life is that thing called freedom because he dwells and he thrives in what bondage ataki aone ukiwa huru anachukizwa ukiwa una huru Oh ndio maana anaingiza uzembe walokole waumini wasiingie ama wasifate ukweli wasifate kujua ukweli wasifate ili kwamba wawe wanafunzi kusudi kwamba wajue ukweli He is okay with that Now the father has qualified us he is our qualifier He has made us meet Yeye ndiye ametuhitimu to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light gone who has done what the father has done what from where and done what ina maana kukutoa tu hakukutoa hivi bundle zake zikakuisha ukabakia ukiwa una hang Alikutoa and he still had enough bundles to locate you elsewhere. He did what? He translated what? You into where? Into where? So, if someone wants to locate you spiritually, where should he locate you? If they want to find you physically, they should come to where? To Eldoret. But if they want to locate you spiritually, they should go where? Mwili wako inapatikana wapi? Halo, mwili wako unapatikana wapi? Hapa Eldoret. Lakini roho yako ipo wapi? In Christ. Now, what is the definition of a human being? A man is a what? A man is a what? He has a what? And he lives in the man is a spirit, he has a soul or a way of thinking and lives in the body, right? Man is not body who has a soul and lives in the spirit. Mm-mm. Man is not a soul who has uh, who, who, is, who lives in the in the body and dwells in the spirit no man is a what so you are a what you are a what you have a what which means a way of what which means you have a philosophy bwana yesu asifiwe what one interpret people can interpret the same thing differently you know that right and that is because of the state of their what soul the state of their philosophy the state, the state of how they view things but that man is also packaged where in the in the what sasa hapa ni makao hapa ni nini 
eh, makao sio wewe lakini unaweza kuishi ndani ya makao si ndio lakini tunajua pia watu uha watu uha tutahama tupende tusipe wanaweza asifiwe na kuhama hapo usione tu kwamba tininaongea kuhusu kufa unajua hii ni njia zetu sote njia yetu sote sio mauti lakini njia yetu sote ni kutoka kwa mwili si ndio the bible says that when jesus will come those saints who will still be alive they shall be changed in a manner they leave that mortality and put off in put on immortality right sio watakuwa wamehama and the ones who have left us before christ has come the bible says they will come with jesus and take up immortal body are we together kwa hivyo watu change makao lakini makao yako ndani ya roho ni permanent ni what permanent your body can leave eldoret go to ketale go to nairobi go to kisumu but your address is ever permanently where in christ are you following that your address is ever permanently in christ because that is where you live in the spirit so when he's saying that the father has delivered us notice the tenses he has done what is he delivering us now the believer are you being delivered now the bible says you have been done what so you already had your deliverance service the day you received who you were delivered how many times and it lasts for how long so henceforth you still don't need another deliverance what hello you need not another deliverance of what service ndio kwamba mapepo wanatoka kwa mlokole mlokole anaweza kumilikiwa na pepo ha huh? toka Nani uko hapo? Nani uko hapo? Nyanyake. Unafanya nini hapo? Huyu ni wangu tulifanya naye agano. Yaani huna akili. Tayari shetani amekudanganya, anajiita kwamba ni nyanyake. Ha? Eh? Shetani ashakupiga fix kwamba ni nyanyake. Unataka nini hapo? Unafanya nini hapo? Kwa nini uko hapo? Uko hapo kwa muda gani? We were not sent to interview demons. Are we together? We were sent to cast them out. And demons are cast out of non-believers. Believer, are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? This is the exact knowledge about your communion in Christ. That you have been done what? Hello? You have been done what? From where? If you've been delivered from the power of darkness, are you still in the power of darkness? And after being delivered from the power of darkness, what did he do? He translated you. Where? Where? So who is in charge of this kingdom? His dear son. What is the name of his dear son? So you are in whose kingdom? The kingdom of who? So who is supposed to preserve you in that kingdom? Christ. Did he make a commitment that he will preserve us? Yes. What is the evidence? John chapter number 10, do verse number 27. John the gospel chapter number 10. Can we have a look at verse number 27? The Bible says that my sheep do what? And I know them and I know them and they do what? Who hears my voice? As he said here yeah, it is my pastors. Amesema ni my what? Ikiwemo akina nani? Pastors pia ni kondo. Apostles au pia ni kondo. Tuko pamoja. Listen, hiyo sio tusi. Ni ukiwa kondo wa Yesu iwa, uko sawa. Cha msingi ni we ni kondo wa nani? Tunaona ni kondo wa nani? Sema mimi ni kondo wa Yesu. Kama hujakoa wewe ni mbuzi. Sio mimi nimesema ipo kwa maandiko. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni mbuzi kama hujapokea Yesu Kristo where you are a goat. Yeah? You are a goat 
and you are firewood bwana yesu asifiwe watu wanatumia nini na kuni kuni inatumika kuwasha mo sasa kuni mwisho wake ni wapi motoni lakini ukiwa ndani ya yesu wewe ni tawi sema ni mimi ni tawi amen sema mimi sio kuni je kuni uko iko na uhai ndani yake hamna matawi matawi yako na mat, ma, ma, uhai ndani yao ah na tawi huwa inazaa si ndio inazaa so we are branches to bring forth fruit are we together so he says my sheep hear my voice and i know them and they follow me go on i give to them what what does he give to them it they are sheep because they have what ah so sheep is not a bad thing to be sheep if it is if it, if it belongs to christ and they shall do what hello they shall do what they shall do what the sheep never do what neither shall neither shall who who do what out of where why gone why why is what which which did what he is than who si waswahili wamesema mwenye nguvu haya who is mwenye nguvu hapa my father si ndio he is greater than all sawa huwezi ukamtoa kwa mkono wa baba si ndio huyu kondoo si ndio my father which gave them to me is greater than and no man is able to do what out of my fathers ah then the next verse says by the way jesus is saying by the way who and who we are what so if you are in the hands of christ you are in the hands of who and if you are in the hands of the father you are in the hands of who can anyone take you out can anyone take you out can anyone take you out are you secure is that exact knowledge ukienda kuhubiri injili utakuwa unaenda na injili ya hurumu wa ye tumekuja kuhubiri injili ya yesu Alafu hiyo mtu anawauliza hii njili mmekuja kuleta mko na uhakika na uzima wa milele ah tunajaribu tu Can you take such a word when you know this truth you are be taking something that is guaranteed Nampelekea wanadamu kitu kilicho sure kilicho jaribiwa mara saba na mara saba kupatikana kwamba ni kweli It is safe to be in the hands of the Lord This is exact knowledge that we are giving Bwana Yesu asifiwe So if you thought let me show you something let, let me show you something let me show you go go to go to go to Genesis Genesis uh, should be You know kuna vitu ukiwa umejua hautakuwa <laughs> unaongea vile ndugu zetu wapendwa wengine wanavyoongea nayo ni kwa sababu hawajaelewa mambo fulani fulani una vitu kijua wewe hata concepts concepts ji at ji backsliding haitakuwa in your psychology because in your psychology there will be the truth that is exact that is precise the truth of god this is in the in the story of oh, Give me just a minute. Genesis chapter number 7. Uh, we want to read verse number 16. Genesis chapter number 7 verse number 7 16 And they here Okay can we do for 15 so that we get okay And they went they they went in unto Noah those are the animals two and two and Noah and all that They went into Noah into the ark two by two of all flesh wherein there was breath of life Go on. And they went in and went in male and female of all flesh 
as God has commanded him. And then what happened? What happened? No alingia ndani ya nini? Safina, sio. Baada ya kuingia, nani alikuwa na kifungu ya mlango? Eh? Mungu alimpatia Noa kifungu. <laughs> Namshukuru Mungu. The minute Noah entered into the ark, the Lord shut him in. Hiyo <laughs> inamaanisha kwamba Noah ikiwa baada ya wiki moja utasikia umeboeka ndani ya ark. Sema hapa kuna bo. Ni ark life hii na ni bo. Noah angekuwa na kifungu labda angefungua mlango wa ark aende for a swim that maybe you will have drowned him. Lakini God shut him in so that no hata kama unasema unaboeka cha msingi ni kwamba umeingi na mimi ndio nimefu so hata kama una catch feelings hapo ndani catch two feelings the point is that hautatoka sasa mpendwa kama hukutaka kuingia uzimani ya unge apokea Yesu sasa hizi si umempokea Yesu too late hata kama unasema mm, mimi wokovu mimi ile okay. catch two feelings it is well hata ukiwa ndani ya ark na upate revelation ya wimbo eh yeah. ndani ya ark because you are bored uanze kuimba wimbo kama huu nisiza me yesu niokoe nisiza me yesu na uko ndani ya ark eh? Unamwambia Yesu usizame. Let me ask you. Can that song save you? Unapomwambia Yesu nisizame Yesu ni okay. Yesu atakuja kuokoa. Yesu anasema tu sinaona tu uko sawa hapa ndani yangu. <coughs> Listen. The minute Noah entered into the ark, his destiny was tied to the ark. What the ark where the ark will go Noah would do what would go where the ark will arrive at Noah would do what will arrive where the ark will rest Noah would do what with rest let me ask you between the ark and Noah who was a better swimmer in the floods huh see the ark it doesn't matter how much it rained it stayed what a float isn't it the people who are good swimmers outside the ark did they drown did they drown every imagine hiyo mvua hata samaki iliangamia mungu wangu samaki are good swimmers but wado waliangamia the point is this it does not it did not matter whether you know how to swim or not your destiny has already been tied to the what to the ark now you and i we are not in the ark We are reading now about the ark if the ark is pointing to Christ. The Bible says you and I were included in who? In Christ. So where Christ went, we did what? We went. Where Christ arrived, we did what? We arrived. Are we people who are doing wishful thinking? No. What is the evidence about what I'm saying? That where he went, we went. Where he arrived, he arrived. Because you can say, ndio naona ile ni Noah, lakini pasi. Why is what are you know Noah? What about us? Aya Ephesians chapter number 2 Ephesians chapter number 2 from verse number 4 Ephesians 2 from verse number 4 The Lord shut him in Yesu alisema kwamba no one can take them from my father's hand Aya tuone Let's read this together. And who? Who is the you? Who is the you? The believer. And you the believer he has done what? Who was what? Where? Uh-huh. Next verse. Where in in which times? So this is according to your past. This is not your present, eh? This is your past. This is that which you denied, eh? 
where in, in your past you walked what? Which is according to the prince of the power of the air. The spirit that is now working where? That spirit is working where? Believer, are you a child of disobedience? But sometimes do you annoy people? Hello? Sometimes do you annoy people? Sometimes do you behave? Not you. Do they behave? These fellow believers of ours. Sometimes do they behave strange? They behave strange, isn't you? But they are not children of what? Disobedience, isn't you? Children of disobedience need to come to obedience, which is by believing in who? Now, that child is of obedience who sometimes anakasirisha. Mpaka anafanya vitu vingine vya ajabu vya ujinga. They only need to come to what? To renew their what? Their mind. He says that wherein in time past, you walk according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now works in the children of, uh, you know, disobedience. Go on. Among whom, can we read together? Among whom, we did what? We had. We did what? What you had, do you have? What you had, do you have? It was in the past, isn't it? We had our what? Conversation means manner of life. In times past. In the last of our nature. Fulfilling the desires of the nature. And, and of the mind. And were by what? The children of who? Even us? That is information. Where is the good news? Next verse. But. What does but mean? Iyo yote tulikuwa tunasema, tunaweka kando, sasa tunafocus on the present, isn't it? But what? But what? If it is but God, it is good news. If it is but you, no, it is but God, isn't it? But God, who is what? God is rich in what? Why are you pleading for with God? When is rich in mercy? Do you know someone who is rich? Someone who is rich has, has more than enough. You understand? God who is what? Because of his what? Where with he? So you are loved. Were you loved when you are good? Were you loved when you are good? You are still loved when you are bad. Now that you are good, how can God love you less? He already loved you when you are? Now that you are good, he has made you good. How can he love you less? What is wrong with the church? Ah, yeah. For his great love, where we the love that it is great love. That love has an adjective, it has a description that it is great love. Wherewith he did what? He loved us. What did he do? Next verse. Even when we were where? What did he do? What did he use to quicken you? Christ is the agent of quickening. That's why he has to say you are quickened with Christ. You are quickened by the means of Christ. By grace, that quickening together with Christ is actually meaning that by what? You are what? Uh-huh. And he did what? He raised you what? Together with him, isn't it? And he made you where? Together with him. Where? In Christ. Sindio? I told you. Where Christ was, we were. Where he moved to, we moved. Where he arrived, we did what? We arrived. Tulianzia wapi katika hii safari? Si tulianzia mautini. Mandika atasema kwamba akatu huisha. Baada ya kutu huisha, akatu inua. Baada ya kuinua, akatu ketisha wapi? Mkono wakuume. Is there a higher place that we were supposed to go than God? God is the highest place to arrive at, isn't it? Aya. When we are singing, pastor, Mungu wetu ni wajabu. Mungu wetu ni wajabu, Mungu wetu ni wajabu, oh Mungu wetu ni wajabu. Alifanya nini akafanya nini? Alinitoa hapa kaniweka hapa. Yaani bundles ya Mungu ilisha. Yaani alinitoa hapa kaniweka hapa, akanitoa hapa kaniweka hapa. God didn't do that. Alikutoa mautini akatuweka kule juu. No stop over. Yes, you see your international flight you are going to America you pass through nini. Yesu sio easy coach unatoka Kisumu unapeka stop over Nakuru. Yesu ni direct flight. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. He removed us from death and directly before we knew it we were with the father. Niwaulize kitu. 
Sasa hivi Yesu yuko msalabani? Tutakupataje huko? Sasa hivi Yesu yuko karibu kaburini? Tutakupataje huko? Wapendwa sasa hivi Yesu yuko wapi? Ametukuka mkono wa kuume wa baba. Ina maana hapo ndiyo tukikutaka tukufanye nini? Tukupate. Ni mlokole anajianika nafsi yake ili aongeleshwe vitu visivyo vya ukweli. Eti analaana za uko. Eti sijui kuna nini na nini ambazo zinamwandama. Unaniambia kwamba laana za uko zinaniandama? Vipi viniandame? Alinitoa kutoka mamlaka ya giza akanihamisha akaniingiza katika ufalme wa nuru wa mwana pendo lake. In the kingdom of Jesus there is no curse. In the kingdom of Jesus neither do we ask for the blessing because when you are in Christ you are automatically blessed. I am blessed even if you don't say I am blessed. Glory glory. Praise the name of the Lord. And then he told me, you and me, that my child, now that you are with me, forever when you look at your back what should you see? Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Walokole wanasikia nini? Laana za kukozi na kufuata siku zote za maisha yako. Maandika anasema nini? Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Navunja laana za uko. Zinapitia kwa baba, ambayo kwa babu. Unaambiwa kwamba tungulia historia ya familia yako. Labda great 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 na wewe ulipofika kwa grandfather ukapoteza network ujui jina ya great great grandfather mtu wa kumuliza hayuko ah si ndio maana ninamshukuru Yesu Kristo alipotundukiwa msalabani alienda katika shamba la Edeni where Adam made the mistake which means he covered all the generations and gave you the blessings of God which God has no repentance towards There is a way when you speak before these religious people they will know whether you know where you are going whether you know where you are going exact knowledge establishes confidence in our sight i'm telling you the truth kuna kitu haswa yesu alifanya that is what philemon paul anamwambia philemon get exact knowledge about your communion with christ see how your faith is effective in its working See how effective your faith is when you share it. When you when, how effective you are when you are sharing your faith. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ma wapendwa mnapata kitu ama huyu jamaa anawapigia tu kelele. Eh? Yeah. Unajua watu wanasema kwamba why is power? Where was power? Unataka unamuliza power ilikuwa nitakana iwe nini? Mimi sikuwa naona watu wakuanguka. Hebu sikia vile unaongea. Ati power ni nini? Watu kuangu. Watu kuanguka. Let me tell you vitu huwa vinaanguka in the mind. When you get what? Knowledge. When you thought that you were kuna vitu vinakufuata. Sasa hizi umegundua kumbe Mungu alikuwa anasema ni goodness and mercy. Unapoasema moyoni hata hujasema na mdomo. Oh, oh, hiyo ni kwa sababu kuna kitu imeanguka. Watu wanaanguka kimwili na wanainuka na vitu ambavyo bado havijaanguka katika mawazo ya mazo yao teachings is what gives you clarity about what Christ has done it is through teachings that will kick nonsense out of the church through teachings praise the name of the lord bwana yesu asifiwe apendo you have it because first john 4:17 first john 4:17 communion First John 4:17 The Bible says that where here in this way in this is our love made is our love made that we may have what when Ah so when love is not made perfect do you know how love is made perfect love is made perfect through knowledge The knowledge of God towards you make you love God right and honestly. Watch Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ukigundua kile Mungu amefanya, love is made perfect. And in that perfection you may have what? Boldness. When? In the day of 
Why? Because what? Because what? Because what? So are where? Do you know why the Holy Spirit added in this world? Because he knew us. Tukisikia kwamba okay, umekuwa kama Mungu unasema siku hiyo siku Yesu atakaporudi tutafanana na yeye. Siku Yesu atakaporudi tutakuwa wenye haki. Siku Yesu atakaporudi tutakuwa na amani. He said that because as he is you you know uh, because as he is so are we where so in this world you are as he is so how do i know how you are i should know how he pay attention how do you like know how you are i know how you are by how he aha uh-huh. how do you know how you are you know how you are by how he ndio maana pressure inashikanga watu watu wajajiona kwa kio do you notice mungu ndio kio yako do you notice mungu ndio kio yako ah oh. if you want to see yourself how you look like in the spirit you view god look at god it is what, if you see it in god you will see it where in you because after all you are where in christ if you see it in god you will see it in you But if you don't see it in if you don't see it in God if you choose to ever attempt to see yourself outside God mulokole you will never see who you are never and when you don't see who you are clearly you are easy bait for manipulation you are easy bait for exploitation you are easy bait to be made merchandise of for the simple reason that you've not seen yourself the way God sees you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So yes, you have to be particular about what? Your union with Christ. Go back to Philemon. Go back to Philemon. Can we read together the last five words in this verse? One, two, three, go. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Pay attention, mwanangu. <laughs> mwanangu tega masikio. The last, the last four words. No, the last five words. Can we read them? Can we read them again? Can we read it one more time? Now, stop talking about me. Talk about yourself. Can we read it? Do it again. One more time. Aha. Uh-huh. It is in you because it is in Aha. Uh-huh. You have it in you because it is in in Christ Jesus. Are we together? In you in Christ Jesus it's a picture of what communion it's a picture of what communion also means what means what oneness eh oneness are we okay with using oneness as as a connotation of communion also are we okay with that all right go to zechariah chapter number 4 verse number 7 zechariah chapter number 4 verse number 7 in you in Christ Jesus in you in Christ Jesus uh-huh verse seven, please okay give me a minute let me see i want to put context in that scripture We will back up. We'll pick it from verse number 
Let's just speak it from verse number one. Thank you. And the angel that came with me came again. And the angel that talked with me, sorry, came again and waked me as a man that waked up of, wakened out of his sleep. Next verse. And he said to me, what are you seeing? And I said, I have looked and behold, a candle all of gold with a bowl on top of it. Gone. And his seven lamps thereon and seven pipes to the seven lamps which are upon the top of it. I see a candle stick, right? Which are, uh, just a minute. Yeah, which are upon the top thereof. Now, this candlestick that he is seeing, right? This candlestick that Zechariah is seeing in a vision where the angel has asked him, Zechariah, unauna nini? Then Zechariah explained, I am seeing a candlestick. Now, when Zechariah is talking about this candlestick, this candlestick that he is talking about, is there a precedent that it had been spoken of in the scripture long before Zechariah as a prophet existed? Yes. Because we see that in what? In Genesis, isn't it? No, in Exodus. I want to show you something. Pay attention. Uh, I want to show you something. Mm. Give me a minute. In Exodus. Go to Exodus chapter number 25. Uh, Zechariah, what are you seeing? A candlestick. Menorah. We will call it menorah in Hebrew. I'm seeing a menorah. And in Exodus 25, the sake of time, uh, 20, 25, I want us to read verse number mm, 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 31 and 32. 31 and 32. Moses is the one is being told here. When Moses is setting up the tabernacle, one of the things he was required to make is a candlestick. This is the candlestick that Zechariah did what? So, in a what? In a vision. So, God is telling Moses here in Exodus that Moses, you shall make a candlestick of what? Pure gold. And of what? Beaten work. Of what? Beaten work. It is a candlestick make of what? Beaten work. Eh? Shall the candlestick be made <laughs> of beaten work? His shaft, his branches, his bowls, his knobs, his flower shall be of? His flower shall be of? Uh-huh. The next verse. And six branches shall come out of the size of it. Three of the branches on one side of the candlestick. And out of one side and out of the, the other side, three shall come out of it. Let us see if we've understood the instruction that Moses was given. Moses was told to make a what? Everything of the candlestick was supposed to call, be made of what material? Gold. Same what? Material. Same material, right? And it will be a, a work, you know, it will be, it will be, back up brother, uh, to 31. Thank you. 31. You shall make a candlestick of what? What kind of gold? Pure, eh? Even that gold is being described as what? Pure. Right? Of what? Can you repeat that work? Of what? Oh. It therefore seems like to make this candlestick, there will have to be pressure applied to it. Sindio? Lazima inge pondo wa pondo. That is what is called a beaten work. Are we together? Now, shall the candlestick be made? Every part of it should be of the same. Have we understood what now the candlestick is about? Now let us go back to Zechariah, what you are looking at. I had to give that background. So you understand where Zechariah is coming from. Now, the angel asked Zechariah, what are you seeing? Zechariah says in verse number 2. Uh, 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 Zechariah says in verse number 2, is it? And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I said, I have looked 
And behold, a candlestick, all of gold, of bowl, on top of it, and seven lambs thereon, and seven pipes to the seven lambs which are upon the top thereof. <clears throat> of course, verse number three will say, And two olive trees by it, one on the right side of the bowl, and upon the other left side thereof. Okay? Verse number four. So I answered and spake unto angel. Okay. Go to verse number four. Zechariah seen it. Candlestick. Then Zechariah is asking this question. So I answered and spake to the angel that talked to me, saying, What are these, my Lord? Or in other words, what is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this menorah? Candlestick. Next verse. And the angel that talked with me answered and said to me, Do you not know what this is? Zechariah said, No, my Lord, I don't know what the meaning of this is. Next verse. And then the angel answered and spake unto me, saying, This one to Some Pamoja. And he answered, Okay, let us read it together. One, two, three, go. So when the menorah was being made by Moses, it had a meaning, isn't it? Zechariah sees it in a vision. He asks, what is the meaning of this menorah candlestick? The angel says that what you are seeing, what you are seeing is not by what? By might? It is not by? But by the what? By the Spirit of the Lord. Can we look at the next verse? Who art thou? Who art thou? Before who? You shall become a what? You shall become a what? A plain. Which means a mountain that is raised shall be made into a flat ground. How? He had said it is not by what? It is not by what? Neither is it by what? By power. But by the spirit of the Lord. Are we together? That what are you O great mountain? It, you will be made flat. How will you be made flat? He had said, that menorah that you will see will become a reality not by what? Might. Not by what? Power. But by the what? Spirit of the Lord. Are we together? By the Spirit of the Lord. And listen to this. Can we read it again? Let us start it again. Who? Who art? Oh great. Before you shall become. And he shall bring forth the what? With shoutings of what? With, with shoutings, crying, saying what? Why is it grace, grace? Because it is not by, it is not by, but by the spirit of the who? Of the Lord. So what was that menorah depicting? The menorah is depicting Christ and the church in what? Oneness. Can I repeat? That menorah was pointing to Christ and the church in oneness. To Kopamoja. That Christ will be joined to the church. Listen. We saw that before God became a man. Can he be, could he have been in union with men? No. But he had to become a man. So that the word become what? Flesh. And when the word will have become flesh. The word will go where? To the cross. Right? The word will go to where? To the cross. What will be happening to the word? On the cross, it will be beaten. See, Moses was told that to make a candlestick of beaten wax. On the cross, Jesus was bruised. On the cross, Jesus was, you know, the stripes that were upon Jesus. On the cross, he was disfigured because of our sins, right? For God made him to be what? Sin. For who? For us. That is the beating. Are we together? So that by him being made sin for us, we might become the what? The righteousness of who? Of God. Our union with Christ did not happen by our strength. Did not happen by our power. It happened by the spirit of the Lord. To Kopamoja. Our union with Christ did not happen by power. Did not happen by might. It happened by the spirit of God. Which means therefore, the union that Christ has with the church can only be explained by the message of grace. Can I repeat? The union that the church has with Christ that perfect union can only be explained by the message of grace. 
leave the message of grace out of the, out of the gospel. There will be no harmony between Christ and the church. Which means the church therefore cannot claim they are righteous. They cannot claim they are blessed. They cannot claim they are sons. They cannot claim they are new in Christ. They cannot claim they are, they are anointed. Neither can they claim that they are blessed. That only happens by the message of grace. Tuko pamoja. Now tafakari hii. If the menorah. Okay, let me see if we've understood. The reality of the menorah is pointing the union between. Hello, church between. And the church. Sindio. And Christ and the church will be made of the same material. Are we together? The same material. Rush with me to Hebrews. Hebrews chapter number 2. Hebrews chapter number 2. One menorah. Hebrews chapter number 2, verse number 11. Let me see, let me see. We want to pick it from verse number. (laughs) Yeah, let's just do verse number 10 and 11. Hebrews chapter number 2, verse number 10 and 11. Here is the explanation. He's saying this. For it became him for whom are all things. And by whom are? For whom are all things? And by whom are what? All things. In bringing who? In bringing who? To where? As many as be the sons of God here, say I. See, you say my confidence. As many are as the sons of God in this place, say I. Oh, he's talking about you. So in bringing many sons to where? To where? Uh huh. To make the captain of their perfect how? Is suffering the beating. Uh huh. So the manora was supposed to be made out of the what? The beating. Uh huh. To make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings, isn't it? Then it brings this verse. The next verse says this. For what? For what? For what? Is it for only one or for both? What are you seeing there? Both or one? For who? He that is what? He that does what? And they who are what? They are all of what was Moses told? Make the candle of pure gold. All of it, same material. Now Jesus, the captain of salvation, and we who are attached to him, we are all made of what? One. As he is, so are. Are we together? As he is, so are. I'm telling you, Satan is angry right now. That knowledge is being dispensed. Like in the to Nasema Kwamba, okay, Kitamba, Chukwa, Kitamba, Wapendwa, Nilienda, Israeli, Nikanunua, Iti, Vitamba, Kutoka, Israeli, Munga, Kanyambia, Yote, Ambaya, Nataka, Ole, Upenyo, Maishani, Kwamba, Ato, Mbegu, Yashilingi, Elf, Mili, Iti, Na, Watu, Wananunua, Upumba, Munimbaya. Yani, Muta, Na, Kutumia, Kulipa, Rent, Na, Ujui. Muta, Na, Kuangalia, Tu, Ibi, Ya, Oni, Nafsi, Ya, Watu, Wa, Munga, Na, Ona, Rent. Akiona huku re rent. Akipiga huka naona school fees ya watoto. Akipiga hile kuni ngea naona nguo. <laughs> Bwana yesa sifiwe. Na ndiyo watu wanafikiri kwa mba hiyo ndiyo sasa pawa ilishika. Hii hakuna pawa imeshika, pawa imetoweka. Na watu wana copy. Because people don't want to take time to sit down and to be taught. He says for both he, the Lord, that sanctified and they, the saints, who are sanctified. They are all of one material. They are all of what? One. For which cause he is not ashamed. Who, listen, who is not ashamed? Jesus is not what? To call you what? Yani yeso na kuita brade. Ani mimi ndio nimesema ama munaona. Alabda hii ndio fake. Iko hapo kwa bindi enyu. Utaenda kutafuta urudi. Utafuta mchungaji kama nitakuwa nimeenda. Sema hii kitu mulikuwa manasema ni wonga. Tu kuona kwa bibilia. Jesus calls you who? Is he ashamed to do that? I love the way you have to say I'm the righteousness of God. So you know there's no one who has to say I'm the righteousness of God. It's going to be swing. It's going to be how unstable they are. If Jesus is not ashamed to call you brother, which means you share the same DNA. Are you together? What he has, you do what? You have. 
Because you are brothers. You are all made of what? One material. That's why you are born of the spirit. Because Jesus also is of the spirit. Was Jesus born of the spirit? Yes. So if you are born of the spirit, what are you to him? Your brethren. Your brethren. La mtu anakuja kukudanganya kwamba yeye ndiye anaweza kuongea na Mungu wewe ngoja hapa. Ati pasta nimekuja unataka nini? Eh ninataka Mungu anionekanie anasema ngoja hapa acha niende huko. Anaenda anaongea na Mungu acha nikuambie hata kama Mungu hakumwambia mwambie atoe land. Anakuja anasema Mungu amesema utoe land. So utatoa. Kwa sababu ulidanganywa yeye ndiye anaweza kufika huko. You don't know that you are a brother to Jesus even as he is a brother. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Know your freedom. Use your freedom. You will not be taken advantage of. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Munapata kitu jameni. You have menorah oneness with God. Say this. I have menorah oneness with the Lord. He and I can never be separated. Never be separated. That's why God says it is not good for a man to be alone. He was not saying it is not good for a husband to remain and a man to remain unmarried. Huh? When he said it is not good for a man to be alone, what we are that it is not good for a man not to have a wife. No. Yo sio Mungu alikuwa anasema Man there is not gender. Man there is what? Humanity. It is not good for Adam to be alone. I will make him an helper. If Eve was the helper of Adam, God gave him trouble. Because Eve is the one who came and told Adam to kule ikitu. The helper is what the Jesus will say. I will send who? I will send who? So who is your helper? The man needs a helper. The woman needs a helper. If that marriage has both helpers, the better. Glory, glory. Praise the name of the Lord. So me, I came with my helper. My wife also came with her helper. And we realized that this helper is hers and this helper is mine. Taka tunasonga tu. Tunasonga tu kwa hizo makona zikitokea kona hivi tunasonga tu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na union yangu na huyo helper wangu nilikuja naye ndio union ambayo maandika anasema hakuna mwanadamu anayeweza kufanya nini kutenganisha hata kama ndoa ni kama garden of eden yako tunashukuru Mungu na kweli tunataka ndoa zikuwe stable si ni kweli hizi ndoa za wanadamu tunataka zikuwe stable lakini ya Mungu nitakana zikuwe stable eh hey, Mungu wetu tusaidie zikuwe stable Bwana Yesu asifiwe na wakati inapokuwa stable mm, Roses are smelling nice. The fragrance is nice. There is sweet honey love and all that. We can do all that lakini hiyo kitu ndoa iko na expiry date. Inaitwa grave. Ndio maana katika ndoa anasema kwamba nita nitakuwa na wewe. Katika mazuri na mabaya. Katika afya na ugonjwa. Hadi hadi kifo ina maana kifo ikitokea hiyo ndoa ime kuisha lakini ya Yesu maandika nasema hata kifo sijui kama mnaelewa Kiswahili wapendo eh nyie wazungu mnaelewa Kiswahili Yesu anasema kwamba hata kifo mwana ya mwanadamu ni mpaka kifo are we together So in closing go back to our theme text in closing no mungu wangu in closing let us read the last five words again One, two, three, go who are you seeing there me and are you alone you are with who how many people are there It is not good for you to be in there you are not because you are with na kanisa likasema na kanisa likasema go do life with this knowledge 
grace upon grace. Come on, let's appreciate Pastor once again. Amen. Nikonda niya Yesu na buru dika Nikonda niya Yesu na Ndependa niyona vile mbaimba Nikonda niya Yesu na buru dika Nikonda niya Yesu Sasa nini Shida ni kwamba mjazwe ya kuimba na mna hiyo Basi tusimani Tukaweze kumwende Let us allow, let us allow pastor to rest As we enjoy the life of God Even through our communication With the Lord Martin are you able to help me with that song? Ni mona ni mwa Yesu ni na burudika 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 ni mona ni mwa Yesu ni na burudika. Ni mona ni mwa Yesu ni na buru di katwibe wote na buru di kwa eva ni ya Yesu na buru di kwa oh ni mona ni mwa Yesu ni na buru di kwa ni mona ni mwa Yesu ni na buru di kwa katwibe ni mona ni mwa Yesu. Ni monda ni mwa Yesu ni na buru dika ni monda ni mwa Yesu ni na buru dika ni monda ni mwa Yesu na buru dika ni monda ni mwa Yesu na buru dika ni monda ni mwa Yesu ni na buru dika ni monda ni mwa Yesu ni na buru dika. Ni na buru dika, ni mona ni mwa Yesu, ni na buru dika. Ni mona ni mwa Yesu, na buru dika. Ni na buru dika. Ni mona ni mwa Yesu, ni na buru dika. Tunacheze ya bwa. Tunaburu dika kwa Yesu. Ni na buru dika, ni monda ni mwa Yesu, ni na buru dika mimi. Ni monda ni mwa Yesu, na buru dika. Oh, ni Yesu, ni na buru dika. Mimi ni monda ni mwa Yesu, ni na buru dika. Ni konda ni mwa Yesu, ni na buru dika. Salabani ye ye alinifia Sasa ni na burudika Ni monda ni mwa Yesu Ni na burudika Ni monda ni mwa Yesu Na burudika Ni monda ni mwa Yesu Ni na burudika Oh ni na burudika Ni na burudika Oh ni na burudika Ni na burudika Oh ni na burudika Ni na burudika 
Questions very fast. Hallelujah. Sweetheart, Hallelujah. I know that as we are here, we are from various uh, fellowships, and this is Iwami Ministries where we are. 